Hello and welcome to my little quick guide on how to tame the Akatina snails that you can see here in the background. Akatina snails are super handy because they can produce cementing paste for you as well as organic polymer. And if you want to tame this little adorable snail, then you have to do the following things. First of all, you need a wild Akatina and these spawns usually in the swamp. For the purpose of this video, I spawned some in. Akatinas are a knockout tame. That means you have to shoot the snail with your crossbow or long neck rifle using tranks in order to knock it out and feed to tame it. I'll show you how it works here. As you can see, the topper slowly rises. I would suggest only shooting the snail shell because then the damage is lower. Snails don't have a particular high health pool and if you have a really high damage rifle then you could easily kill them with one shot. Now the snail is knocked out. And what you now need is sweet veggie cake. I'll show you on screen which ingredients you need to throw into the cooking pot in order to craft it. Depending on your server settings, you might want to have some narco berries on hand to keep it sleeping because the torpor is not really high and the torpor drop is really insane. And there it got tamed without me having to do anything since I'm on boosted rates. It's tamed with only one piece of cake. Perfect. I'm gonna show you now what happens if you don't shoot the shell but the body. We were really lucky this time. But it is significantly lower health than as if we shot it in the shell, like we did with this one over here. I will show you again. The health drop from one shot is really risky and I wouldn't risk it if I was you. Because in the end you may save some trings, but you risk on losing the snail to too much damage. And now I quickly show you on what the snails are good for. If you put them on wander in an enclosure, then they not only produce a catena paste, which is basically cementing paste in their inventory, but also organic polymer. These haven't been producing for long enough to get the polymer, but it will build up over time. This way you have an infinite source of polymer and cementing paste for the cost of sweet veggie cake. And I can't stress enough to point out that you always need to provide a steady amount of sweet veggie cake because that's the only thing they eat. Also be careful when you put it in the feeding trough because other herbivores will eat it as well. Therefore better put it directly into their inventories. I check our snails every second or third day and fill them with veggie cake when needed. But if you're following all these precautions then the Akatina is gonna make your arc life so much easier never having to raid beaver dams that are only filled with wood again. If this little guy helped you, I would love if you could leave me a like and if you have any questions, just jump into the comments. I would love to help you out. Until then, see you in the next video.